let's get to the worst of the night. Um, Cheryl Ladd and Louie doing the rumba. Let's see it. <laughs> so she's Cheryl actually she's swinging she was kicking she was doing her thing she actually had a huge improvement from week two now a reminder Cheryl is who Lynn saved it was between uh, Teresa mm -hmm. and Cheryl and Louie and he broke the tiebreaker um, and saved her and I thought she did so well from what we saw the week before from her I mean, I think she definitely improved. I mean, this is a lot, but I think that she did great. And I think that this is just really stiff competition. And I just don't know if she has yes. the most fans that are watching. You know, a huge part of this show is the fans voting for you. And I just don't think that, you know, she is as, you know, widely popular as some of the other contestants, you, as well as her, you know, constantly being in the bottom two. Do you slash did you know who she was before Dancing with the Stars? Blakely, I still don't know who she is. <laughs> Please okay, tell me. me. Either. <laughs> exactly. I don't know either. Literally. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. And I'm not saying <laughs> she probably is super, super famous. And I'm sure our watchers, listeners, sure. will let us know in the comments as we will also yes. be doing our due diligence after this. So don't y'all worry. <laughs> but I do think that, you know, she has a different generation of fans. And, yes. you know. She did it her she did her best. Definitely. Obviously, we're gonna kind of talk about that fact that she went home. Yeah. But she did her best. Yes. Zach, I've just gotten word that Cheryl was an original Charlie's Angel. So actually, I think she probably is a really big deal, and a lot of people know who she is. It's just not totally our generation. Yeah, but I'm also there's probably plenty of people in our generation who love her and think she's a big deal or know her from their parents. So, Definitely. you know what, Cheryl, you know, we want to give respect where respect is due. You are a legend. Yes. A legend. And she rocked it on the dance floor. She got a 24, which is actually a, a big improvement from her week two performance. Of course, you spoiled yeah. it a little bit. We will get into uh, kind of what happens at the end in terms of the elimination. But before we uh, get into that just yet. Let's see the other bottom uh, duo, Sam Champion and Cheryl doing the Samba. <laughs> now, okay. they, I, they had a little bit of fun with it, but for some reason, this performance was just kind of weird to me. Um, Derek did say that the Samba is the hardest dance. They were the only duo to dance the Samba this week. Um, so they did get one of the lower scores, 25. I don't know. I've got to know what your thoughts were. <laughs> I mean, they're rocking it. You know, you saw the moves. They're putting yes. in the effort. It did feel a little juvenile, I think. Some of the moves were just like, mm -hmm. you know, they're at the club bouncing. Um, but if it is the hardest <laughs> dance, maybe everyone's going to do it at least one point throughout the season. You know, Certainly. I kind of always have thought it was a little weird Blakely how they do they all do different dances like if they're all being like comp, comp put up mm. against each other each week like don't you think they should have the same routine equally like the same type of dance yeah yeah and maybe not the same routine but the same style at least so that it's kind of an equal playing field because we haven't seen Sam or Cheryl in the bottom like this so maybe because they were doing the samba the hardest dance that was a reason why they didn't do so well I mean, I also don't think they're going to go the distance. I mean, if you're just kind of basing things off of the last few weeks, it seems like, you know, people yes. who are in the bottom usually are only in the, or they stay in the bottom until it's the picking order, until it's the time, which is why we kind of sure. are assuming Charlie and, you know, Gabby and Wayne are going to go the farthest. Um, but I also yeah. think that Vinny, I mean, he he's going to have to get it together because he has the fans love. But he does not have mm -hmm. the moves. And I don't know so how long speaking, he's going to hang yeah. on, but I'm invested in his journey. Speaking of Vinny, yeah, he actually got the lowest score of the night, which was a 23. And he clearly has, like you said, good support from the fans because he was mm -hmm. not in the bottom two. Yeah, and I'm one of Vinny's fans. Like, I actually 
and have been voting for Vinny, like over Gabby, but don't tell Bachelor Nation. Um, but I'm there's wow, something about Zach, Vinny's storyline. Yeah. Ah, I just I'm a Jersey Shore fan, like from the beginning. Um, I've always thought Vinny yes. was obnoxious, though. Like I'm, I'm obviously, but I still like really, okay. yeah. I still really like his um his story here. I love his energy. I love Coco. She's my favorite dancer on the show. Mm-hmm. She's new, um, but I like immediately fell in love with her, and I really just love their dynamic. So I kind of want to just see them go far and be the underdog. So that's why they have my support. Okay. Well, Vinny's going to have to get it together. He's going to have to work a little bit harder so he gets those 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 yeah, scores back up there. Um, but anyways, so in terms of who went home, we know that Cheryl Ladd and Louie doing the rumba, they ended up being sent home. It was a unanimous vote from the judges for mm-hmm. them to leave, even though Cheryl did have a an improvement from her week two. It's kind of confusing because there's the two Cheryls, but Cheryl, our Charlie's so Angel Cheryls. OG. Yes, um, who went home, which I think that we're kind of both in agreement, Zach, that that probably was the move. <laughs> what did I text you, Blakely? Didn't I? I mean, oh, my God. Didn't I say thank God? <laughs> didn't you I did. say that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, honestly, like did. we wish them love. We wish them the best. Um, but it, it, it just was their time. And I, I honestly was a little bitter, I think, because I am a Teresa fan mm. from Jersey Housewives. So yes. I kind of wanted to see her go at least one more week. So maybe I was taking out some of that animosity on Cheryl. So for that, I will apologize and take accountability. But I do think that ultimately it was her time. I agree. 